This is the first movie that I can recall in my adult life that's come in under budget. The Martian just came out. It stars Matt Damon and a whole host of other people. I'm actually really excited that I've gotten a chance to see it. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more movies that are actually current rather than my Blu-ray collection. <laughs> This movie is based on a book by the same name, written by Andy Weir. The Martian tells the story of Mark Watney, who's an astronaut who's left behind on Mars after his crew thinks that he's died. He then has to find a way to survive until another mission can reach him. And there's not another planned mission for four years. This story could be super depressing. I mean, you could take a very, very serious, dramatic, soul-searching approach to this movie and come out with a very strong drama that's very intense and gritty and down to earth. And it is, but it's also really funny. I gotta say, it's really, really good to have a really good Ridley Scott movie again. Prometheus, I actually really liked Prometheus. I didn't think it was as horrible as the consensus seemed to say. It was a good movie. It wasn't a great movie. The Martian is a great movie. Ridley Scott really knows how to do tents. If you've seen Prometheus, the scene with the medical bay, I won't spoil it for anybody, but if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The beginning of this movie, when you're really introduced to Mark Watney, Matt Damon's character, it is probably the most tense scene that I've seen on film all year. Now granted, I haven't seen every movie in theaters. Matt Damon kills it as Mark Watney. He is great. Everybody was on their game in this movie. Every performance was great. I don't tend to compare books to movies because they're completely different medium. I, I think that the movie actually did a good job with telling the story. And that's really all you can hope for when it comes to a movie adaptation of a book. The one comparison that I will make, Mars doesn't try to kill him nearly as much in the movie as it did in the book. I'm gonna keep this review nice and short. The acting is great, the story is great, the direction is great, the cinematography is great. If you haven't seen the movie, go see the movie. If you haven't read the book, absolutely read the book. You don't need to read the book before you see the movie, it's not one of those. It's, you're not going to be super lost, really. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on my Blu-ray list when it comes out next year, probably. It is absolutely worth it. As always, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, share if you think somebody else would like. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see these and all of my videos.